Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Malik Zero 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. So uh, today is uh, going to be one of the uh, exciting topic for all of you guys because I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to live demonstrate on my Exata box with the, uh, what are the basic checks uh, one has to do it on the DB nodes, on the storage servers and the IB switches. Uh, you know, keeping your all DB nodes, storage server and IB switches in, in a good condition and in a healthy state, it is one of the preliminary checks for uh, all of the DBS and uh, you know uh, these are the checks whatever i'm going to show you are very very useful when you are planning for your exata patching or when you are planning for your platinum patching or when you are planning for your bundle patching or whenever you are planning to uh, do any qfsdp patching on your exata box so whatever the checks i'm doing it those are like mandatory and very very important checks pre checks one has to do it uh, before the patching and the same checks can be done after the patching to make sure that your uh, your exata components are running in in a healthy state and also uh, these are uh, these are the checks which uh, helps for uh, you know uh, keeping your all exata uh, uh, environment in a in a healthy condition so you know before i get started with the technical and the lab demonstration if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik 34 and then please do subscribe if you like my videos please don't forget to give your thumbs up and please share with your friends and colleagues and if you missed out my any of the previous sessions or previous uh, uh, seminars you can always refer it in my youtube channel malik jo 34 right let's get started with the uh, uh, you know all the pre-checks so db node pre-checks and you can see uh, cell node pre-checks and the ib switch pre-checks i have uh, listed out a couple of commands here i am going to show you all those in a, in a minute so before that if i open my lab environment uh, i have a quarter rack uh, two node uh, two db nodes you can see db node one and db node two if i can do cat uh, root dbs underscore group this is a file if we if you can see i have two db nodes here and similarly if i do cell cat slash root uh, cell underscore group i have three storage servers and if i do uh, root ib switches you can see right three ib switches and other ways like you can do it simply ib switches you will see all of your three ib switches right so uh, that's it for all uh, my environment details so if i can uh, run the command so dcli is one of the brilliant tool uh, instead of running uh, each command on on both the nodes you can run it on any of the one node it will automatically fetch the uh, information from the other node. i just wanted to check host name i and i and uh, you know uh, i can run this dcli command which will fetch the details from both the nodes you can see right node 1 node 2 and this is the ip address and similarly if i do for uptime see node 1 node 2 and these are the uptimes and if i do user own minimum 25 gb is mandatory whenever you are doing your patching on your grid home and db home if they are running on user own so i can see right you this the free space and the root file system If I do DFFNH, you can see a node one of uh, 7.7 GB is free and uh, used and uh, available is 21 GB, 28% used. And if I do minimum for 3 GB free space is needed on this root file system, but we have enough root file system and boot. Right, we have enough 15% uh, used and enough space in the boot file system. And again, if you want to see all the mount points, DF-H, it will list out all the mount points. And LVS, very, very important command. The LVS, right, uh, you can see this SIS1 and SIS2, 30 GB each. And this SIS1 and SIS2 should be in, in same in size. You can see 30 GB and 30 GB on node 1 and similarly on node 2, 30 GB, 30 GB. So this is one of the checks you have to do it. Uh, your uh, both LV size should be same. And VG display, volume group, your volume group, it will list out how much free space, what is the use space. And this is very, very important. DBMCLI and hyphen E list alert history so is there any critical alert it will list out
right there are no critical alerts so you can do a single node dbmcli so it will go to your dbmcli command prompt you can do list alert history on this particular node see there are so many alerts here but uh, uh, what my command it is doing uh, you know alert type is stateful and severity is critical only critical alert I am trying to list out so I don't have any critical alerts I can go further and image info is one of the important command it will give you what is your current image info see if you observe here I am running it all the commands on node 1 I no need to go to node 2 because this DCLI with the brilliant help of this DCLI command I am fetching the details from both the nodes you can see uh, what is my current image version and status is success and on which partition it is installed this is LBDB sys1 that's the active partition now and I can grab for version and also I can grab for status first I will do it version right 18.1.21 is the version and if I do for status check status should be success always yeah you can see and you name hyphen r you can see what is your kernel version and image history if you do it will give you all the past histories how many times you have patched what are the it started with this 1814 and then patch to 1821 right so all the version is still get it and this is very very important command hardware profile check hardware firmware should be success if there are any failures or warnings you have to fix that first you can see success success on both nodes it's success and this one the file L, uh, user bin ldd check that is executable user bin ldd and uh, with the help of DP, dmi code dmid code you will see what is your uh, uh, current machine name you can see it is m2 server sunfire m2 server and this is the uh, name and you can run this run this battery uh, status right it's a fully ch full charge capacity this much and check particular this one right so again firmware build the version right so these all are about uh, you know uh, your uh, deep node checks and similarly sim similar checks you can do it for uh, cell instead of your dbs group file you have to mention cell group here i will show you few of them i'm not gonna repeat it again you can see uptime all the three cells you can see uptime you can see here and you can check the root file system right root file system you can see here 5 gb free and boot dffnh you can see and then similarly cell cli alert history right so critical alert i am trying to list out here dcli hyphen c so there are no critical alerts so quickly i will do i will connect to any one of the cell see i connected to cell here so cell cli is one of the brilliant utility uh, you know you will get it in your storage server you can see cell cli if you just type it you will go to cell cli and do list alert history you will see with any alert history it will list out and also if you can see list physical disk you can see right list physical disk it will list out all your physical disk in this particular cell server and list cell disk You can see all the cell disk you will get it so this this is cell cli is one of the you know very very brilliant tool you can make use of that and i can cover the cell cli dcli in in, in my separate lecture i will cover all this uh, in detail so right now i'm my concentration is to check for all this uh, preliminary checks uh, i'm checking cell cli list uh, cell service status uh, restart service ms service and uh, rs service right you can see that cell service status running ms service rs service all are running on cell 1 cell 2 also it's running cell 3 also it's running and similarly if i check this is my uh, asm deactivation outcome
right you can see all the disks my sm disks are all online and uh, i can able to bring it down yes here yeah, right sm deactivation mode outcome is yes it means we i can bring down this particular cell because of uh, redundancy there will there will not be any impact and similarly uh, if i do this one physical disk is there hyphen v i am using hyphen v normal if there is any uh, issue with the disk i will get it i can run all this bunch of command in one shot uh, you know if there are any fail fail uh, issue with the disk or fail disk you know i will get the output uh, instead of hyphen v if you just uh, uh, run this uh, just a physical disk you will see all the physical disks I already showed you, right? Logging into that particular cell. See, this is cell CLI with with the help of DCLI. I'm running a cell CLI command. I'm fetching the details from all the three cells: cell one, and this is cell cell two, and this is cell three. So all the cell details I'm getting. So jumping into the image info. So same command, whatever you checked in DB node, it will check on the cell nodes image info. right so if you see here if you observe this uh, uh, this particular right i will go with this third cell third cell start with here right if you see right uh, the active image info is 18121 and there is a inactive image info that is 1814 1814 the old image and you applied the latest image that is 18121 so if you see here dev md6 active system partition and active software partition dev mdc8 these are the active uh, partitions and if you check your inactive partitions here dev md5 and dev md7 right and then if i check for image info status and version it should be uh, success version is 18.21 and the status it should be success on all three cells you can see right and again you check for image history you name if an r you name if an r kernel version so hardware firmware again very very important check it should be a uh, success on all the cells and you can see the product code hardware firmware uh, yeah it is success rate on all three cells so that's the beauty using dcli you can run it on any one of the node and that's it so again battery status if i check it out so the full capacity and the build uh, package version right i'll quickly jump into ib switches i can see these are my ib switches i have three ib switches listed here in this file or else i can do ib switches it will list out all three ib switches here 1 2 3 right so again if i do host name up time i can run bunch of command in one shot you can see host name if an i and these are the ib switches and these are the up time and if i can grab for version it will say 2214-1 and show unhealthy this is important so if there are any unhealthy it will show see no unhealthy sensors all are okay and this is a free memory and get master get master is important so you have to make sure that uh, in which ib switch your master is running if you do from this one uh, sm is enable state is master and you can see right this is ibs0 and this is ibs0 uh, iba0 and ibb0 so ibb running and it's a standby and iba is a standby and ibs is a master so other thing is you just log in to any of the ib switch and do get master you can run it log into that and sm enabled and running and state is master this is s0 so and similarly if i log out and log in to other switch ibb i can log in and i can do get master you can see right it's a standby uh, you are always uh, master should run on your uh, spine switch and again this is a root file system boot file system and these are the checks you have to do it root file system if i check 
right so 26 mb is available on three of all the three iv switches so that's it uh, about the uh, today's session uh, about exa data db nodes cell nodes and iv switches the health checks if, if you do these checks on weekly basis and um, frequently and regularly so your uh, exa data will be in in healthy conditions and it will be uh, always uh, you know performing in in good condition so if the if you see any abnormal output out of this whatever command i showed you so you have to fix it and you have to troubleshoot what is the cause and why it has happened and you have to fix it so thank you guys and we'll uh, see more session in my uh, next class thank you